watching Caffeine and Pixie Dust. Have a wonderful day. Hello and welcome back to Caffeine and Pixie Dust. So today I'm going to do a video all about annual passes for our beloved Disneyland Paris because following on from the vlogs from our crazy trip to Disneyland Paris for Halloween, please do go and check out those vlogs if you haven't already because they were great fun to film, my goodness, I've never laughed so much. Um, I've had lots and lots of questions about my lovely annual pass because this was my first trip using this shiny gold Magic Plus annual pass for Disneyland Paris and I've had questions kind of which pass I went for, the benefits that I like as part of this pass, um, how I bought it, all that type of stuff, how, the, how it works in general. So I thought it might be useful if you are tempted to take the plunge and treat yourself to an annual pass for Disneyland Paris to do a video to kind of cover off most of the bases, to give you a bit of information so that you can kind of drill down, work out which annual pass you want to get and feel like you know a bit more about it. Because as with everything, <laughs> when planning a Disneyland Paris holiday, sometimes there's so much information to take on board it can seem a little bit daunting. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk through the four main types of annual passes for Disneyland Paris and I'm also going to talk about how you can buy them because there's lots of different ways and also the benefits and perks that I really enjoy having this level of annual pass and why I chose it because as I've said there's four different types with different kind of perks and benefits as you go but this is the one that really was the one I wanted so yeah I'm just going to go through those for you. Now, as I've said, there's four different types of annual passes. There is the Discovery Pass, which is 149 euros. There is the Magic Flex, which is 219 euros. There is the Magic Plus, which is this one, which was 259 euros. Or there is the Infinity Pass, which is 399 euros. Now, as with everything in life, sometimes the more you pay the more you get so you can see that you've got sort of the most economic one is 149 euros and then right at the top you've got the 399 euros one those are the prices as I'm filming anyway but you know you do get different perks as you go up so you will get bigger discounts on the hotels you'll get bigger discounts in the shops um, with the infinity pass for example you're able to book in and use the pools in the Disney hotels you're able to have a VIP area to stand and watch the fireworks all that type of stuff. There's some really cool benefits that go along with it. And also you will get more days in the parks because the way the annual pass works is that you'll get to go to Disneyland Paris for free, <laughs> as it were, because obviously you've already paid. And the sort of higher level of annual pass you've got, the more days you can go in, because there will be blackout days on the most popular and busy days in the parks. And so if you've bought kind of the most economical paths, then you will need to double check your dates to make sure you can actually go in on those dates. But with the Infinity, which is 399 euros, you can go 365 days a year, you can live there if you'd like. Although you have to, you know, leave in the evening. <laughs> Unless you're staying in the Disney Hotel, which, wow, that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to pop a link in the show notes below, which I really, really recommend you go and have a look at after watching this video, of course, which I think will be really helpful because if you've got a certain budget in mind and you're thinking about the benefits that you want to take advantage of, you can have a look at this link, which is really handy. It's got like a comparison chart and it's got each of the four annual passes, how much they are across the top, and then all the benefits that you get with each pass. So you can kind of suss out actually, yeah, the big discounts in the shops are important to me, or maybe yeah, I'm not that fast and also I'm not gonna be there on the days when you can sort of access them 365 days a year, that's not really what I need, and just work out what works best for you. And also the great thing about having a look at this link and double checking it is that you'll know that everything is up to date because you might be watching this video in six months, a year, two years time, and I want to make sure that all of the information you've got is practically perfect. Speaking of which, I will be glancing down every so often. I have taken copious notes <laughs> and I will be glancing down just to make sure that I've included everything because I want to make sure that you've got everything you need to sort of feel a bit more informed about Disneyland Paris annual pass system. So as I've said, we've got these four different types of annual passes, the Discovery, the Magic Flex, the Magic Plus, and the Infinity. Um, now, as well as having many different types of annual passes, there are also many different ways in which you can buy your annual pass. So the way I did it was, for me, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I must admit I was a little bit daunted when I was sort of getting ready to do it because I'd never done it before, but all I did was I bought it over the phone. 
So I phoned up the main UK reservations number and I asked them to put me through to the annual pass office. Um, now I made sure I did this during open hours because the annual pass office, the main one, is actually in Disneyland Paris Park. Um, there is another one over at Gates Studios which you can use but the main big one is at the bottom of Main Street, if you turn right towards Discoveryland, you'll see the building there. It's kind of just in front of Hyperspace Mountain, as it were, a little bit closer to the castle, but it's well signposted. And if you're buying in the park, which I'll go on to in a minute, you can queue there and go on in. So that's a really good point as to where it actually is. But if you're buying over the phone, just make sure that you're phoning within the office hours. And of course, bear in mind that time difference, because you don't want to be phoning up all excited and ready and find out they all went home an hour ago. That would be sad. So yeah, I bought it over the phone, I just made sure I had the card I wanted to pay with ready. I gave them a call, they asked me a few questions, a few personal details, like address, all that type of stuff. And that was it, that was that. The person was really, really helpful, really friendly, and just made me even more excited about having an annual pass. The only extra I paid was five euros for postage and packaging because then a few days later, really not long at all, definitely within like five days, I received a smart white envelope with a Disneyland Paris stamp on it which was my annual pass because what they actually do and this is the reason I paid for it over the phone is if you buy it that way they will send you a ticket so it looks like a normal park ticket mine had Donald on which we love um, and then what you do is you take it along with you and you get it activated and that's when you have your photo taken wearing ears of course and you get your lovely card um, but what it means is that you've got the ticket ready to go however you have six months to activate that ticket so if you're buying it and you're not going for like three months, that's okay because you can take it with you then. You're not eating into your park time. You're not wasting time when you're not gonna visit Disneyland Paris because your annual pass will start when you activate it actually in the parks proper. So for me, that was key because I didn't want it just sat on the side, not doing anything when I could have been at Disney because that would be sad. So yeah, that was the main reason I did it and I'm really glad I did because it now means that my annual pass is gonna last that much longer. So you can actually, as I've mentioned, buy your, your annual pass on the day. Say you've got a day ticket, you've just gone to see what it's like, and suddenly, like the rest of us, Disney people, you're hooked and you want to go back again and again. What you can actually do is you can go down to the annual pass office with your day ticket and you can buy it there and then. And they will actually sort of deduct the value of your ticket from the cost of the annual pass so that you're not paying twice. So they'll use the value of that towards it, which is really cool. So you can either buy in um, one lump sum, like paying one go, or you can set up a direct debit. One little note that I've just spied as I look down is that as well as doing this down at the annual pass office, if you're going along and you want to um, buy a ticket much like the one I had, which means that you just walk in and sort of have it activated, you can actually do this just outside the gates to Disneyland Paris as well. So as you look at the Disneyland Hotel, to the right by the entrance to the actual hotel, there's the luggage storage and then there's a ticket office there. And we were able, um, for some other members of our party, to actually buy their kind of ticket ready to be activated for their annual pass there. And although you kind of think, well, you're going to do it in the park anyway, it was easier because it didn't mean that they were buying a day ticket, going to the annual pass office, having it deducted, da 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 da. I mean, it wouldn't have been a hardship, but it's a bit, little bit more sort of faff, isn't it? So that was a really easy thing to do, is just to go to that mini office there and then stroll down Main Street and get that card activated. So yeah, you can either pay in one lump sum or you can set up a direct debit. Um, just to let you know with a direct debit, you of course do need to have some bank details with you and also your passport. So the documentation you're going to need is your passport, um, or I guess like driving license, because you will have obviously your photo on there, your name and address, all that kind of info. I guess photo, uh, the, um, can't speak, passport will be easier because you've got it with you anyway. So take that along with you. And then the bank details you're going to need is your IBAN code, your e I even, I can't spell, sorry, <laughs> I-B-A-N code, or your BIC code, your B-I-C code. So that's your passport, your IBAN code, and your BIC code. Now, if you're not sure where to get these codes, they tend to be at the top of your bank statement. However, if you want to phone up or pop into your nearest branch of your bank, get the codes from them there and then, but also just double check that you're able to set it up while you're over there in Paris, that direct debit, that's always a good idea just to be Best to be safe really, isn't it? So yeah, you can do that. Now what they will do is they will either take the initial cost of 55 euros there and then, and then set up 11 months direct debit, um, which is the rest of the cost of the ticket for the annual pass. Or if you've got a day ticket, again, they will take the value of that day ticket from the total and your monthly installments will be that much less. 
However, something to remember is that if you have bought a package holiday with your hotel and your park tickets included, and you sort of have gone to Disney and thought, oh yeah, this is definitely for me, those tickets that you've had included in your package um, won't actually, you can't use those as the value towards your annual pass because they've already got quite a few discounts applied because it's part of a package. So in that instance, you would need to pay the 55 euros and then set up the 11 months um, monthly instalments. So another way you can do it, I told you there are a few ways, <laughs> another way you can do it is you can actually go online. Now um, when you're going online to order it, it's not quite the same as kind of doing our online shopping where we just see something we like, click it, buy it, pay for it and it gets delivered. In this way you actually go online, you download the forms and then fill out the paperwork and supply all the necessary documents they need like photocopies of um, passports, all that type of stuff. Send it all off in the post, it gets processed and then they send it back and you're ready to go. It gets activated very quickly. For me, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want it to be activated very quickly, as I've said earlier. So, um, you know, that is something to bear in mind. If you're gonna literally get your annual pass back, jump on the Eurostar and run off to Disneyland Paris, then that's cool. But if you're not planning to go for a few months, maybe don't do it that way because it will eat into your park time as it were it will eat into the year of your annual pass because it does get sort of set up very quickly gosh it's suddenly got really dark outside sorry it's a really kind of blustery cloudy wintry day and it's gone very very dark suddenly so yes you can do it online um I have also read that you can set up a direct debit by using the French website. I haven't done this, so I can't vouch for this personally, um, but if you wanted some more information on that, just maybe hop online, pop onto the Disneyland Paris website and have a look. Now, these annual passes are fantastic, but they can be a little bit pricey, but there are some ways that you can save some money on your annual pass. And the first thing is sponsorship. Now this immediately harks back to kind of school sponsorship, doesn't it, in all those forms. It's not like that. Um, however, what it means is that you can save 10% on the price of your annual pass if somebody with an existing annual pass comes along with you to the annual pass office, stays with you while you fill out your paperwork and pose with your lovely ears, and that's it, that's all they have to do. They will fill out a piece of paper, but that's, that's not seen or kept by you. It's literally, they just take you in there, flash their pass, that's it. You get 10% off, which is fantastic. If you in turn are doing the sponsoring, it's really, really good because you just go along with the person you're introducing to the scheme, stay with them while they do all the paperwork. You'll be given a form to fill out, so you put your pass number, name, address, and they will stamp it and then you keep that paperwork. It's not gonna go to the person you're sponsoring, it's definitely just to be kept by you. And if you get three of those stamps in your paperwork, you will get six months free annual pass to Disneyland Paris, which sounds pretty flipping good to me. Something to bear in mind though, is that we're not talking about getting three people over the whole year. They break the year into two blocks, two six monthly blocks. So say, November to April. In that period, that's when you need to get those three different stamps in your book. And then when you come to like the last couple of months before your annual pass expires, that's when you can either, I think you can do it in person and through the post, um, but you actually get your next six months card. So that's really good because as I said, they cost quite a bit of money. It's definitely worth having. Um, however, another way you can save some money is if you are visiting as a family of five or more, all staying at the same address, living at the same address, you can actually um, use the family discount. And this will get you a whopping 20% off your annual passes, which is not a discount to be sniffed at. Think of all the shopping you could do. <laughs> now the thing with this is you do have to all live at the same address. So unfortunately you can't go as like five friends and kind of all get this discount. You have to be living at the same address, um, but it's a good way to do it. It's a good way to save some money. So do look into that if it might apply to you. Now, a couple of things to remember that I've noted down here. First of all, with regards to sponsorship, we've talked about how it can be great um, because you can save people money and also get their stamps. However, if you are going with a group of people, you're gonna activate your card and then you're gonna sponsor them straight away. That's not how it works. You have to actually hold your annual pass for 30 days before you can sponsor anybody else. However, one way to get around this is of course to order your card via the postal kind of service because then you can plan it and make sure that you're not gonna be in the parks with them until your pass has been active for 30 days. So that's a way of getting around that bit a little bit. And the next thing is that the Discovery Pass, which is the most economical of all four passes, that one, although you can use it on the day you're activating it, 
for the next two days after that you can't use it you will not be able to use it in the to get into the parks and you will not be able to use it to get your discounts in the shops in like the village and everything so do bear that in mind maybe that's fine because maybe you're going to visit for the day pop off to Paris for a couple of days and then come back that's cool but if you want to go and really make the most of it maybe have a look at the next sort of levels up to see if that might be a bit better for you because then you can go straight on in so next I'm going to talk about why I chose this one. Why did I choose the Magic Plus? Now the main reason for me might not apply to everybody else, but for me I like to start my Disney day during extra magic time. I like to run in as soon as those gates are open and see an empty Main Street sparkling and glistening in the morning sunshine, listen to the music on Main Street while it's empty, take loads of photos, jump on loads of rides and meet lots of characters without queuing for too long. And for me, that was key. And with the Magic Plus Pass, you get extra magic time. You don't with um, all of them. So I think it is the Magic Plus and the Infinity, the ones you get EMT with. So for me, that was key. Also, you get a good amount to go and visit Disneyland Paris. As I mentioned, you do get blackout days with um, a lot of the passes apart from the top tier one. Um, but with the Magic Plus, you actually get 350 days where you can go to the parks and run around and have fun. Now, obviously, I'd love to live at Disney. <laughs> I'd love to have 365 days Disney and that would be amazing. But, you know, real life does happen and logistics and all that kind of stuff. So I can't do that. And for me, 350 days is more than enough. That's plenty. So I was really happy with the amount of park days you get. Um, also, for me, a key thing is that we always get a Disney photo pop. <laughs> photo pass plus oh gosh sorry um we get one every trip and we make sure we take loads and loads of photos and make sure we get sort of value for money however recently the price of this for a pass that lasts for 10 days and then you have the photos on there for a whole year has gone up to 69.99 euros when you buy in the park however having a magic plus pass i was able to buy an annual pass so this means a pass that for a whole year i can load photos on and then i believe have the photos on there for a whole nother year as well was only 49 euros and that's amazing because it means that every time we go we can just use the same pass add on the photos and by the end of it i'm gonna have absolutely loads um so for me that was really really good also you do get 10 percent off in the shops 10 percent off your ears 10 percent off your cuddlies 10 percent off everything in the shops um and then you get 20 percent off your food as well um i think the main thing to remember is that all the sort of popcorn snack concession sort of stands you can't use it there but in all of the restaurants and things you can which is good because that definitely adds up and another thing as well which wasn't like a key reason, but it was a lovely little surprise, is when you have a table service meal and you're an annual pass holder, you will get a free non-alcoholic cocktail. And we didn't know this, or we'd forgotten. And at Bistro Chez Remy, they came in and presented us with these cocktails, and it was lovely. Also, you do get a separate entrance with your magic plus pass, which is also the infinity pass holders, uh, which is to the right of the Disneyland Hotel and you just go on in and it's lovely and quiet and very little queue so that's always nice and right next to there you also get luggage storage now this is really handy because either on your first or last days and you want to dash around and not be traipsing back to the hotel you can drop in up to three pieces of luggage and leave them there for the day and that would normally cost i think five or six euros per bag so that's definitely a good perk and also you can buy 10 friends a year a discounted um, ticket for both parks and that would be a maximum of five at a time and they would pay 45 euros. So that's a really good price. If you've got friends that are kind of tempted to come and see what this Disney hype is about, um, you can maybe pop over with them, stay at a sort of off-site hotel and go with the discounted tickets and it's a really nice little way to get an introduction to Disney until they all become hooked <laughs> and get their own annual pass and then you can sponsor them. So there you go, that's my whistle stop annual pass tour thing video. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope it's been useful. If you have an annual pass or you're thinking of getting one, please do pop in the comments below which your favorite perk is, one of the benefits that you really like. And also if you've got any questions, please do pop them below and we will do our very best to answer them, either myself or the lovely viewers that we have who really help out with some of the comments. And I really love that everyone helps each other out in the comments as well, it's really cool. Anyway, until next time, if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave me a classic sparkly thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, all those wonderful things, and I'll see you real soon. Take care.